Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It's a Tuesday today, and it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's cold. Leather Bag Lady weather report. I think it's about minus two out there this morning. Fix. Look at all. Look at all this stuff. I just. <laughs> it's all my workout wear. I was supposed to go for a walk with my girlfriend this morning, so I didn't go to the gym. And so far, I haven't heard from her, and now it's getting too late. So I'm going to have to try and muster up the uh, enthusiasm to do it myself, which may or may not happen. Anyway, so today, Tuesday, a uh, beautiful day, sunny, cold, and the bag today is kind of cool. Um, it's actually a combination of a backpack and a shoulder. Your choice, however you want to wear it. And you can actually, now that I think about it, you, you do have extra options. So this is today's bag. It is The Trend, which is a brand I absolutely adore. The first bag I ever purchased myself was The Trend. Um, where is my little... I'll show you. I've showed it before. This was... You can't even see. I, it's all rubbed off. So this was my first purchase. Uh, 16 years old. I worked all summer to pay for it. It's come apart a little bit here, but um, still in excellent condition. There you go. The trend. They used to be made in Italy back in the day. Not so much anymore. Um, so that's how long this brand has been around. I probably bought that in 1986, I think. It was the year I graduated from high school and I worked uh, landscaping in the summer. Actually, no, it was even before that, probably 84. I was still in high school because the uh, riding boots were all in fashion. And I bought it from a store by the name of Calderon. So if you're a uh, Canadian and you are a leather lover and you like quality leather, you probably um, know the store Calderon. I think there was 17 of them, um, Southern Ontario, I believe. The brand is based in Montreal, and my mother is calling me, but I'm not answering it because the last time I answered it, I lost my video. So, Mom, I'll call you in a minute. So, yes, yeah, so this, this brand has been around for a long time, and the quality... Um, am I going to suggest that the quality of an 80s trend is the same as a late 90s, early 2000s trend? Probably not, because as the years progress, they no longer made them in Italy. So when I find a real, like, 80s trend, I am all over it, because the made in Italy stuff is just that little bit better. This one I don't think was made in Italy, but I love this because it is a backpack. Or you can unhook the straps, and you can do any number of things. You can... Just use it as a shoulder, or you can, um, this will actually come out of here. There is a little bit of uh, finish loss on the strap. The strap is perfectly attached. It just has lost a little bit of its sheen over the years. Oh, this isn't the one I unhooked. There we go. Now it is. So this will this will feed through as will the buckle and you can either hook it here to make it a shoulder or you can hook it over here to make it a shoulder or you can make the strap really short and connect them both here to make it a crossbody. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can wear this fabulous Canadian branded leather backpack, shoulder, you name it. So um, there is a deeper red in the corners. There is a little bit of corner wear, 
but to me i don't know it just adds to the vintage look it is a distressed kind of leather look now this bag i've done a little bit of work on this bag i'll talk about that in a minute so interior you've got a compartment a divider with a zipper a compartment a very small foam pouch which to me dates this um, mid to late 90s and then you've got a zipper compartment and then you do have a zipper closure on the top so this little bag has a lot going on it's got a nice gusset so it'll stand up no matter which way let's make the strap the shortest it'll go so uh recently i don't know oh god look at these freaking boobs recently <laughs> i I think I mentioned to you that I purchased a new uh, color recoloring cream from a company in the States by the name of Clyde's. Now, this company, I am not a big fan of buying stuff offline or online, whatever. I just, I don't know, I guess I'm old school enough that I'm a little bit wary of it. But, um, and then I had my phone hacked on the back end of the order, so I thought the company was a scam altogether. But no, they weren't. The product arrived, and I ordered black, dark brown, and red. Never thinking that my first um, experience with it would be with a red bag. So here's what I've done here. I've put the strap as short as it'll go attached it at the top now you've got a cross body which can be much longer because I've made it as short as it'll go or a shoulder you've got all kinds of options with this great little bag but what I noticed when I was photographing it was it was just a little there was just a little bit too much wear and I thought you know what I'm going to try my new, there are some areas of darkening here too. I thought I'm going to try my new color bomb because this company reached out to me or I reached out to them when I was trying to decide if they are, were actually a, a legitimate company and they do not have any, um, testimonials from anybody who has purses so they asked me if I would be interested in doing um like an influencer I am not an influencer but I do know my bags and I do know my leather and this kind of product the pots are a little bit smaller than I was hoping for and it does have an expiry date on it um so so, so far I have used this red. Now, the reason I got red and brown was because I thought I could mix and create, you know, some of the mahoganies and, and the darker browns that I like. But I am actually going to order a mahogany and a tan because I just get so many browns and especially in the vintage that this is, this would be really useful for me. So it's quite a thick product and um yeah so far so good it's supposed to dry for 24 hours 24 to 36 hours so once it's dried this is probably the main area that i've used it so it is a little dull compared to the rest but once it's completely dry i'm going to buff it up and i will show you the results so so that's today's bag it's a great versatile Canadian um, company and I just I love it I love all my bags I wouldn't pick them up if I didn't love them so that's bag number one today and it's already listed on my or in my Etsy shop so I don't know if I mentioned to you some time ago that I had found a bag on marketplace um, again if you follow me you know that I collect Jane Shilton uh, bags they are you know a little bit of a, a passion for me just because they're made in England and I do find them fairly fairly regularly actually 
Um, beautiful romantic story about uh, Jane Shilton looking after the company while the owner went off to war, Second World War. And then when he came back, he was so enamored with what she had done for him and his company. And I guess very excited that he made it back, bless him. Let's face it, not everybody did. He married her and changed the company into Jane Shilton, which was her name. So I found a bag on Marketplace uh, probably about three weeks ago. And I contacted the seller and it was actually a consignment shop that had it listed on Marketplace. And I just didn't get a chance to go and pick it up because it was for sale in Niagara Falls. But when I went on the weekend, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go in the store and see if it's still there. Well, it was. So this is my newest Jane Shilton bag isn't it gorgeous so it's like a chocolate brown leather here and all along the bottom I've done a little bit of cleanup there was some scuffs on the patent here and the little twisters open up and there you go so there's your Jane Shilton made in England I had a strap it's not original to the bag but I've added it and uh yeah i'm going to be using that at some point the only thing i would really have appreciated if this uh handle folded in but it doesn't so there you go but that's the bag i wanted and i got it and yeehaw! so today's history piece where are we 1997 satin clutches and it's a little unfortunate that they mention Princess Diana as an example of her being known for her satin clutches. 1997 is the year that she died. So I don't know if that was a purposeful um, connection or not, but um, I was actually living in the UK in 1997 and it was, it was quite something, I, I must say. It, uh, what did it happen? I think it was end of August or September. It happened, I think so. I can't remember. I know I was extremely pregnant with my son, Harry, whose birthday it is tomorrow. So I'm taking him and his sister out for Indian food tonight. So um, he's 24 tomorrow. So he doesn't watch my videos. But anyway, happy birthday, Harry. He's mortified that I do YouTube. But anyway. <laughs> So that's our history piece for today. Um, satin clutch bags. And I've said it before, I am so disappointed that clutch bags aren't more popular than they are because there are some absolute beauties. And, uh, and I own a lot of them just because back in the day when I first started this little venture, I if it was leather I bought it so I've got some beautiful bags I'm actually thinking about maybe trying to pick up some grommets and maybe uh kind of repurposing some of these bags with straps and because some of them are absolutely gorgeous and it's just a shame that they're not uh more popular so a lot of uh, envelope clutches which was an item um a few years back in this history piece because they're very slim there's no gusset so you're not going to get a lot of stuff in them but oh they're so beautiful anyway that's enough for me a little bit of a longer one today so hopefully you will have a great rest of the day and uh, I'm going to enjoy my butter chicken tonight I am going to guarantee you of that we're going to the gate of India in uh, Hamilton here fabulous little restaurant so i um, looking forward to that anyway everybody take care have a great rest of the day and i will talk to you tomorrow bye